Okay, so in this video I'll be showing how to use the handwriting.io generator. Um, and what this does is it allows you to create uh, handwritten style images um, using handwriting.io, which is a uh, software as a service that you can use to um, generate handwritten looking images. And um, it's pretty cool. They have a software that um, will, you know, it's more than just like a handwritten font. It actually changes each letter. Uh, they have lots of different sampling that they use for each letter. And there's hundreds of different styles of handwriting that you can choose. And this is kind of cool if you have, um, uh, you know, you could do like a variable data project where you would have a handwritten note um, included in a mailer. You can also use these images in emails and digital communications. Um, there's, there's a lot of different uses for them, and it's, it's pretty interesting stuff. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to use this app is a handwriting.io account, and um, with the account, you'll also need um, an API token. So you just go to your account, and you generate a new API token, and um, you'll need that within the Switch app. So within Switch now, I already have the app uh, available. It's on my Flow Canvas. And um, when you click on it, uh, you'll, you'll have a lot of different properties and things you can enter in. Uh, most of it's um, filled out by default. Uh, a couple of things you'll, you'll definitely need are the API uh, token key and the token secret. So um, these, these come from your account on that website. You'll have to just enter them in. Uh, the other required field is the text, so you'll have to, you know, you can test it out by just putting an inline value there. In this case, what I'm doing is I'm using a private data key, which my key is called job contents, and um, I'm actually feeding it from this script, and all this script does is it, it reads a text file and takes the body of that text file and writes it to private data, which it's, it's then being fed into the handwriting.io to generate the handwriting. Uh, so you don't have to do it this way. You could have um, a switch client, for example. Somebody could type something in. It could make a handwritten note. Uh, you could also feed it into a script that parses a, uh, a spreadsheet. And um, maybe for every row, it would create a handwriting piece. But uh, for now, this is a very simple way of doing it. So um, I'll show you the rest of the values here. We have a format, and we could choose PDF or PNG. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're using uh, a PNG, all of the other uh, values have to be in uh, pixels uh, instead of uh, points and inches. If you're using PDF, it can be in inches and points. Um, so after the format, there's the handwriting ID. This is the actual handwriting ID value of the handwriting style that you want to use. And you're more than welcome to feed this with a variable if you'd like. Um, but I'm just using a static value. You can find these handwriting IDs from the handwriting catalog. And all you do is you find the handwriting style that you like, you view it, and this is the ID right here. There's also an API call to get them all, but it's easiest just to use this handwriting catalog and copy that in. The handwriting size is in points or pixels depending on the format that you chose. Uh, the handwriting color um, is either a hex value if you're using PNG or it is a CMYK value for PDF. Uh, the CMYK values um, are, it's a little strange, I haven't really seen them this way. They go until 1, so if you put uh, 0 0.7, that's like a 70% uh, black value is what I have here. You can then send the, set the width. Um, this is a required field. It does have to be filled out. Um, the height, though, you're allowed to put in uh, the word auto, and that'll just set the height uh, automatically. And you can also specify it in inches or pixels as well. The line spacing um, is the distance between the lines. You can add a spacing variance. And this is kind of cool because it's supposed to be handwritten, right? So you can add a little bit of a of a spacing, a random spacing between the lines uh, to make it look a little bit off. The random seed is something you can use if you want to reproduce the exact same image every single time. Uh, by, by leaving it as negative one, it will always be, uh, it'll be different every time. 
and then the, the rest of it is just your API token and secret, and that's it. So again, like I said, I have this uh, script that's reading the job contents to private data and then passing it through to the app. So let's test it out. So what I have here is a text editor, and we will uh, just write a quick little message. So I'll say, hello, Dominic. This is an example of a handwritten message. So now we can take our message and drop it into this folder. The job contents are going to be read to private data with this private data key, which is then passed into the text variable parameter. And then the output is a PDF. And here it is. Uh, now the reason that you see the handwriting.io uh, watermark is because the API credentials that I chose are test credentials, so I'm not being billed for them. So uh, if I if I wanted production credentials, I would be billed for for generating this, and it wouldn't have a watermark. So that's the gist of it. Now I can take this message, I could upload it to S3, get the URL, input that in an email. Maybe I could deliver this to a folder if it's being used for a variable data job. There's a lot of different uses for this. So I hope you see uh, the value, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them in the comments for this video or the forum thread in the detailed description. Thanks a lot.